Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Reigns Academy. My name is Vishal. In this video, I'll show you a feature called Shadow Catcher in Blender software. So Shadow Catcher is used uh, in uh, visual effects shots where we have a background plate which was shot by a camera and then we got a 3D model which is uh, integrated into that plate. And uh, when that integration happens, we need the shadow to be casted on the floor which is part of that background plane or background plate. So how this works? So let's have a look. Uh, starting from scratch, I'll be doing a simple setup, nothing complicated about it. So I'll just go with a new general scene and then I will take a mesh which is the monkey and then I will position this on the ground and then rotate it so that it touches the ground there like that. Not only that, we also create a plane by pressing shift A and then uh, you get the add menu and then select the plane and then scale it like that. So I've got these two elements. One is the model which is shown in the scene as a CG element which we are adding and the other model which is a plane which receives the shadow. So I'm going to add a HDR lighting setup for this scene. How HDR lighting is done? I've made a video tutorial on that. Just have a look on that video which is shared in the description below. Uh, now uh, I'll just uh, split up my scene here and then change this to the shader editor. So once the shader editor is come, I just go to the world. And then we got the background where we are going to connect the HDR image. So I press a shift A here and then go to the texture and then choose environment texture. And from here, I'm going to browse the texture. So we can now uh, connect this texture into the color of the background and then uh, come here to the uh, viewport shading option, enable that. And also change the render engine to the cycles where you get the photorealistic uh, render. Now, once I've got that, what I have really done is uh, I've scaled this model, the first thing, and then I've got the plane, which I've moved. And then you should be able to see, uh, I'm getting the shadow casting onto the plane. And then, I, as I said, I don't want this plane to be visible. If there is no plane here, you don't get the shadows. If you got the plane, it gets the shadows, but it's visible. That's where the shadow catcher comes into the picture. So select the plane, go to the object here, and then go to the visibility section. And then we have something called shadow catcher. Just enable that and then you get the object testing shadow on the background plate. So it's a great useful tool when it comes to visual effects. And uh, if you got any other options and questions related to this. So if you got any questions on this and uh, you want to know more about the tool, please let me know in the comment section. And then please subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you very much.